This video will show you how to orient the rocket in the 3D view. What I'll do here is detach the 3D view from the main screen by double clicking into this bar in the middle. It detaches and then I can move it around and make it bigger so I can see the rocket better. Um, the camera controller is right here with this four arrow buttons and that brings up this controller and from this controller we can move the rocket around left right we can pan up or down or rotate in or out or side to side if the camera if the rocket is off to the side and you wish it to be back in the middle hit the recenter camera button and that will put the rocket back in the middle of the screen but keep the orientation as it was. Now you can also reset the camera and that will bring it back to the default view. So if I hit the reset camera button, it moves it to the default view like that. Uh, you can also zoom in or out. And you can also orient the rocket using your keyboard and your mouse. Um, by default, Roxim is in the trackball mode. The trackball mode is if you click and drag on the screen, as I'm doing now, it follows your mouse. If you turn that off, now it, you click, it'll just rotate. And the further away from the center of the screen you are, the faster it will rotate. Most people prefer to be in trackball mode. Now to zoom in and out, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out. You can also right click and right click and then move the mouse up or down to zoom in or out. To rotate the rocket, on Windows, hit the Control key. On Macintosh, hit the Command key. And now you'll notice that the mouse button, or the mouse cursor, looks like an arrow that rotates. And now I can rotate it up or down, and, it, and it's going around in a circle. To go to Pan, hold down the Shift key. And this allows you to move the rocket up or down, side to side, without rotating it. And if you lift off the shift key, now it's back to rotating as you move the mouse around.